All right, so first things first, there are some many paths you can go on to. You wake up and you spawn in this like ruined battleship. Now you have multiple choices of what you can do. If you are wanting to escape the island while on a boat really, really quickly, I suggest you just can ignore the boat in general. Just ignore it. There's literally no point going towards it because like unless you're wanting to try to survive on the island or maybe you want to go into a different ending there's no reason why you should get go to the ship now what you want to do next is ignore everything you just keep heading in a straight direction from the ship this way and you should reach the power plants okay we're here at the generators so when you get to the generators here first thing you want to do is take the if if this has already been taken then you might have to find another fuse but if you're wanting to quickly survive grab the fuse and put it into this box now turn on the power and then boom the warehouse power is on you need this power to be on the warehouse because you need the fuel that's inside the warehouse if if someone's already changed it like say if there's a power uh power in cell in this box but like here you can move it to the box up so if someone puts it on observatory, you can move it to the warehouse. So just as long as somebody puts it or you put it in that box, no matter what, you have access to the warehouse. Now you want to head in a straight direction this way across the lake until you see two barns or warehouse looking things. You need to go there to get part number one to escape. Also, if you have time in the day, I recommend you come to the observatory that's literally on the hill from the power plant and you get these heat seeking vision goggles. These will be very helpful to your escape. Basically, it will tell you when there's any other players or any other creatures or entities or en enemies on the map. And this will come very handy to escaping. And uh, we'll just get into that. Remember, if you wanna do it quickly, you don't have to do this, but it will help a lot to your safety. Now, if you need some if just some help on what it should look like from when you get to the lake here you want to get to there it looks like that from the other adjacent side of the lake so you're looking to get to there all right once you get to the warehouses you want to go to the, the, the warehouse on the right if it is still powered it will open like this if you want to power anything else in the map i also do recommend you come here because there are many fuses that you can use to power it up then you want to get the fuel. This is one of the last pieces you need to escape on day one. So if you want to get be able to halfway done, you just need the fuel. Now next what you want to do is climb the mountain. Now depending on where you've gone and how long is this taking you to get here, you might not have much time left in the day. Trust me, you do not want to be outside during the, when it's night. There is creatures in this game that will try to attack you and kill you if you stay out for too long. So, and even at night, and even during the day, it is imperative that you do have some sort of weapon. So I recommend you get a pistol, or a rifle, or a shotgun if you can, to protect you. Not just from other players, but just because if the creature attacks, you're going to need to at least have one or two bullets in your gun. If your gun runs out of ammo, there is no reload, so make sure to throw them out. They have essentially became useless at this point. Your next goal is to climb the mountain. We're looking for the radio tower or the substation, as I like to call it. Up here, there will be a master code breaker, and you're going to need that to break into the armory back on the ship. Alright, we have arrived at the radio tower. So there is also going to be an assortment of loot up here. But well, the main thing that we are looking for is the master bypass con uh, console. Now, you could leave the fuel for later, some here. Preferably, if you did this with a friend, you could use multiple things. We aren't going to pick this up today, because we do are going to need the pistol in the morning or throughout the night, just in case a creature attacks us. So I recommend, like I said, if you have a weapon, you keep it in your inventory at nighttime, just in case. Now, by now, the day has basically already passed already. You can kind of see it is getting a little bit darker. The day is still going by. So potentially, if you want to risk the time you might not have enough time to make it to the lighthouse or somewhere else. But I recommend on the first day, if you are just looking for a slower experience, you could try to risk it, but I personally don't feel like we have enough time left. So you just camp out at the radio station until the next day. Also, if you want to get yourself familiar with the map, 
you may look at the map right here. Basically, as a rough overview, where you want to go and what you want to do is you spawn in at F2. You want to make your way to H5 and change the power so you can get to E5 and get the fuel. I'm pretty sure we're around uh, D6, E6 area. Then you want to head around there till you get to the substation where we are. Then on tomorrow, what we're going to head to do next is we're going to head to the ship. Day two, the hunt. On this day, primarily most of the creatures and what's coming, as you can hear by the helicopter inbound, will be chasing you. So we gotta hurry. Drop the gun if you if you if you don't think there's any gonna be any players or anything's gonna chase you. you you're probably not gonna need it. We need the master by cost uh, console to get out of here. Immediately start heading this direction towards the ship. Now. Some people might not like this strategy because, of course, the helicopter you see overhead, you might notice it's heading our direction. Now this is why you gotta get these. Because these, what this helicopter is, is gonna be dropping known as mercenaries or soldiers. And these guys will be hunting for players and also the creature. So, if you are in these guys' line of sight, they will kill you. There is specific classes for each and every one of them. I will do that on a separate video if this video does good. I will do a video explaining how to avoid them and what their abilities are. But for right now, we gotta get to the ship. Primarily get these goggles, as I like I said, as like I said, because they will help a lot. Now, now you want to get the master bypass controller. You want to click one of these things. You're gonna to connect to the target. Well, your goal is you want this number to be this number. This might take you a couple of tries, but honestly, it is kind of easy, depending on the lower number. There you go. Once they're match, the door will open. Now, you will have to abandon something. Now, as you can see here, the soldiers are moving out. Now, we're going to have to wait for them to leave. But for the moment time being, if we're fast, we might not need these anymore. Now, there's an assortment of loot in here, such as the GPS, ballistic vests, and more heat seeking blowout goggles. But we're primarily, we want this. Now we're also gonna need this to get out. So now we're just gonna wait for these guys to leave and then we make our move. All right, we are here. Now, if you don't know how to get here, I recommend you use the lighthouse as a guide. All you gotta do is keep heading about, well, straight right from the lighthouse and you should end up here. If you don't know, remember you can reference the, the map. Alright, once you get here, just ignore everything else. We are going to have to raise the time because it is becoming nighttime here. So first things first, you always want to put the decoy module in first. Now if you can, put in the fuel next. Then, you should be good to go. Then you want to start the boat. And you got to wait a few seconds until it starts up. And then, go. Right in the middle of time. And then you escape. So that's pretty much the boat escape ending. If you guys need any more help or if you want to know about anything else with any of the other endings or just the basic survival strats in the game, Please comment and like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.